Hello everyone, welcome to this episode 5 of the Real-Time Submission Diaries. In our last episode, we left off on uh, Camille's r r Got Rejected by Editor. So, <laughs> Camille and Agent have now gone back out on submission. So... I told you guys in the last episode that I would talk about sort of this situation. So we did the R&R, failed. Then my uh, agent got back to me and said, you know, do you want to change anything back to how it was before? Or do you like this revised version of the story? And I made a few changes. I changed a few. I added a few things that really brought back some of that old atmosphere to the story. And then... It is now Wednesday, the 1st of July, and Christy and I went back out wide on submission to, how many editors did we go to? We went to 10, I think. Um, I don't have my list pulled up, but we went out wide again to editors. You know, we went to um, a few at Big Fives and then a few at um, major publishers. And then I think there are a couple smaller uh, imprints on there as well. But all the editors look great. You know, that is one thing about Christy is she really knows how to cultivate a list. And, you know, it's a, a diverse, wide-reaching list, which I love. And, but <clears throat> the thing with this round is it is July 1st <laughs> in the year. In this, the year of torment 2020 where everything is just crazy. So this round of submission does not feel like my first round of submission. Not because I'm still not excited, not because of the typical thing. It just, I don't know. I it just, it, I'm not, there's not as much anxious energy as there was the first time around for sure. But moreover, um, like my in-laws are here and I haven't seen them since the holidays. During the holidays, I flew home for a funeral. So um, my in-laws are here, so I spend time with my family, and the state of the world is just a mess that I'm, I'm really just focusing on family time and doing art and stuff because I just, I can't handle a lot of what's going on, I guess. Um, but yeah, so it just, it really does shine a light on what's important, I think, when the state of the world is so dire. Okay, it's getting really dark. I, let's pull back a little. Um, so I'm out on submission again uh, with my book. And yeah, so I not as much anxious energy as the first round of submissions. But I'm also feeling kind of like, you know, the first time I we went out on submission, I had two R&Rs. Um, I made it to second reads with one editor. And I just, I got all rejections. And I did this R&R &R for this editor and that was a rejection. So I don't know if I'm feeling confident, which is weird because the manuscript is so much better than it was. Um, you know, just so much better than it was. At the end of the day, this editor really helped this story, you know, even she didn't even though she didn't want to take it on. But for some reason, I'm just not feeling as confident this time around. So we'll see. But I wanted to be real with you guys. Um, here's to hoping I get a book deal so I can actually upload these videos. <laughs> Episode 5. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, and I also have a feeling that if the story gets rejected, that was the thing, was with round 1, I understood the idea that if everyone rejected in round 1, we could revise and then go back out. Round 2 feels a little different because round 1 we went to like, 14, 15 editors. This round were like 10 editors. So I don't know if there would be a third round. Um, I don't even know what I would do with the story at this point because it is just, it's perfect. Not perfect, but like it is exactly what I want it to be. And I just, I don't want to shelve it. Like it just, it feels, I don't know. Like, in the last year, I have revised this story so many times. I have revised an old story that Christy and I are going to jump into working on soon. 
but I haven't written anything new. And it, this is the first time in five years where, so the first four years when I was writing, it was really just practice. Like I was trying to nail down my voice. I was trying to teach myself how to write because I honestly, I didn't know how to write narratives. So for the first four years, I wrote three books in a year and then three books in another year and then two books and two books. And I just, I had written so many stories that this whole year I have not written anything new. Like I've pumped out a couple chapters on certain things, but just that passion and drive isn't there because I've been so anxious about readying this story and getting it on submission and then being on submission. Um, you know, I, there hasn't been a resolution yet and it's really hard for me to move on to the next project when there hasn't been a resolution to the old project. So I don't know. I don't know. Just I'm excited, but I'm not as excited as I thought I would be. Mainly, I think I'm subconsciously trying to manage my own expectations, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to get overly excited if it's not going to happen, I guess. But um, to all of you out there who have been on submission for like a month or a week, you know, because the first time you go on submission, that first week is like dreadful. Uh, <laughs> just try... Try not to freak out. I don't know, but it's just, ugh, ugh. okay. <laughs> uh, I don't have any really advice. Just feel your feelings and I guess, um, yep. So there's going to be a sixth episode. Definitely. Um, right now we've had in the past two days, almost the whole list has requested the full. So. We will see. Also, the editor who um, also asked for an R&R &R during that first round requested to see the new full. So that's something. All right. Uh, see you guys next time. For now, you should be whatever. Do whatever. You should be doing what you want to do.